Before the video starts, there's a lot of information to go through, so timestamps will be posted below if you're looking for specific tips. The Riot Shield and Knife have the most grueling, infuriating set of challenges to get done in gaming history. And it's right up there with the Vidmaster challenges from Halo 3 in terms of how painful it is to get done. These weapons have to be the most frustrating in the game to get gold, aside from launchers, but that's for another time. I highly recommend putting these weapons on your current class so you can passively unlock some of these camos without having to fully commit to the hell that is grinding these out. But, if you're not a pussy, try out this class and start knocking out these camos. Before we get into the camos and tips to completing them, I gotta give a disclaimer that this requires an immeasurable amount of patience, persistence, and whatever will help sounds the suicidal thoughts. Alright, let's get into the tips. With these weapons, you're gonna wanna stick to the smaller maps, because you wanna be as close to the people as possible to even get killed. Obviously. So use a few spots in some of the more popular maps to get kills easier. There will be a timestamp on the screen now if you're a strong independent COD player that don't need no spots. The Ride Shield is a pain in the ass to get gold, but it's probably the hardest flex to pull up to the lobby with, because that camo is made out of the blood, sweat, and tears of the person that completed it. Here are some quick tips for using the Riot Shield more effectively. Never sprint at somebody with the Riot Shield. You will die almost every time, only sprint if you're behind the opponent. If the enemy is far away and shooting at you, crouch and slowly move up, making sure you're facing them the whole time. Once you get close, you can stand up to avoid them trying to jump over your shield and kill you. Try to bait out thermites and other lethals by maneuvering around obstacles so they have nothing to stop the terror you're bringing upon them. While using the Riot Shield, really focus on how you're moving and experiment with movement options and routes on the maps that you play. It'll help a lot once you switch back to using a normal gun. The knife is basically the same as the Riot Shield, but instead of being able to block bullets in exchange for limited mobility, the knife makes you into a nice old defenseless target from any range. Unless you're in your opponent's mouth, and even a lot of the time you'll still get blasted. But looking on the bright side, you are fast as fuck with this little guy out. The same tips for using the Riot Shield apply to the knife. You can mess around with your movement methods, dead silence being very clean with the knife. You have more range and speed on your swings with the knife than the Riot Shield. And don't feel like a bitch for waiting in a doorway or a corner with the knife, as long as it's just for challenges, otherwise you're a cuck. Also, both these weapons have the same camo challenges, so let's hop into them. For spray paint, you're gonna need to kill 200 enemies. Spray paint is easy, super passive kill camos. Just bonk 200 people with it and you're chilling. Difficulty? Up dog. For Woodland, you're gonna need to get 50 kills WHILE INJURED. Whoever was in charge of creating this challenge is some sick, evil, twisted fucker who has probably never used these weapons. I don't know if there's any way to streamline this camo by doing damage to yourself, but this one I got done really without focusing too hard on it. It'll come with time. Difficulty? Stub toe. For Digital, you're gonna need to get 50 kills from behind. You're gonna have to be a sneaky little boy, or girl or whatever, and flank behind people constantly just to get close enough to get kills with these anyways. So I recommend having Ghost and Cold Blooded on your melee class to help make it easier. Studs and Flashes work great as well for this challenge, or you can just fat nut it and loop your way around people for kills. Also, it's really hit or miss with finishing moves counting towards this challenge, so to stay safe, avoid getting these for these camos. Unless it's a sick clip, then go for it, bud. Difficulty? Game of Thrones Final Season Frustration. The Dragon Camo requires you to get 30 kills while using Dead Silence. This one is super easy, everyone should already have Dead Silence as a feel upgrade anyway, so just activate it and get to work with your faster movement speed. I like to use it to close gaps on people I'm chasing, or get cheeky kills with the absurd speed you get while using dead silence with a knife. Difficulty? Speed. For the splinter camo, you're gonna need to get 50 kills while crouching. As if it already wasn't hard enough to get kills with these fucking things, you gotta do it while you're crouched. The only tip I have for this is to crouch right before you go in for the kill, besides that, it's a fucking jungle out there. Difficulty? Annoying like a hangnail, but not too hard to get out of the way. 4 out of 10 IGN. For Topo, you're gonna need to kill 2 enemies without dying 25 times. 
To get kills quicker with these weapons, a lot of the time you're just going to be charging people and hoping to take one of them out. But for this challenge, you're going to need to keep swinging these little fuckers until two people are dumb enough to get killed by them before they kill you. Difficulty? Big Chungus. But he's angry. For the Tiger Camo, you're going to need to get 25 kills while the enemy is near smoke. Again, whoever's making these challenges fell back into their crack addiction or coming up with the most unnecessary roadblocks to that sweet, sweet gold camo. But this one's pretty self-explanatory. You can toss it on yourself and hope unsuspecting people walk into it, or you can toss it on people in areas and hop in there and snag a few kills. Difficulty? Piece of cake, but it's not really the flavor you like, but you eat it anyways. Stripe's camo requires you to get 10 buzz kills, meaning you need to end the enemy's kill streak 10 times. Crackhead made this one too. It'll happen randomly, don't stress it. Difficulty? Chewing some gum. You just kinda do it, but don't swallow that shit though. Reptile requires you to execute 25 finishing moves. This is probably the most fun and rewarding challenge out of all of them in the game. Just wait for your opportunity and listen to how angry they get when you pull it off. Just be careful because you can get killed mid-animation. Difficulty? Actually a pretty good time. For the Skulls Camel, you're going to need to kill 3 enemies without dying 25 times. This is an abomination of a challenge. Not only do you already have to do this for Topo Camels, but you have to do it again with the extra 25 times while getting 3 kills instead. For this one, you're either going to need to Adderall it up and bop the shit out of some people, or if you want to keep your sanity and not abuse drugs, you're going to have to find a spot you like and sit there until three people walk by and you can end them. Difficulty? Just end the fucking suffering. That's all the tips I got for getting these weapons gold. If this video helped you at all, leave a like on it, and if not, dislike it. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, put What's Haywood in the comments below.